Hi there, I'm Juan Logan. I'm a painter, sculptor, printmaker, occasionally producing a, a video or two here and there, and public artist. And I've been at this for a while now, for many, many years. It's what I do, and I really can't imagine doing anything else at this point in my life. But it's, I've felt that way for a long time. Now, when I first started, the thing that was really sort of interesting for me, I was actually going into microbiology, specializing in bacteriology but realized really quickly that wasn't my thing. It was about the idea of learning more about myself, what had value, if you will, for me, and how I could express those things. So at one point I, I used to do portraits, you know, and all that, and realized that was not my path at all. You know, not that I couldn't do the portrait, it's just that it didn't say enough for me. I needed more. Uh, so and I think abstraction provided me with the more. You know, I was born in, in Nashville, Tennessee, and then uh, finally moved down here, which is where my mom was from. Uh, so I was raised here. Belmont was a different town during those days. When I was in high school here, there was no art. Um, there was never a great deal going on art-wise in Belmont. I mean, it just wasn't. Uh, that it has become much more involved, much more exciting, and there's really great things happening right now, I mean, really and truly. So I think it's important for us in terms of the hope for the future is that we adopt, we encourage as much as we possibly can, growth in terms of the arts, all of the arts. It's called the Fibers of Belmont. That was really an opportunity to talk about Belmont in a very, very direct way and hopefully in a way that most people would embrace and the flowers in it came from various communities around Belmont. And I thought that was important to access those things because we all provide something in terms of who we are that makes Belmont you know, a great town, but it comes from everyone. Cross section, if you will. And sometimes those fibers connect really directly, sometimes they don't, and that's how it is too. But the hope is that as, we, as time moves forward and we know more about each other, it's understanding your history but I also want you to understand mine and know mine and see it equally of equal value. I want them to look at it carefully. I want them to look at how the threads, some connect and some don't. So much depends on what we want out of it all and our ability to connect with each other and our desire to do so. I can extend my hand every day, but you have to reach back. Basically, it's sort of what I'm saying with those threads and how they're reaching out from each side, coming toward each other, they connect because we choose to make them connect. And I hope that we continue down that path and we'll, uh, until all those threads have simply come together across the board. Yep. I wanted the, the range of colors though, again, to reflect the various communities in terms of where things are coming from and all that. And it's true that when you look at plant material, as in looking at wallpaper, you can generally tell a lot about the community that it exists in based on that particular wallpaper. All those kinds of cues tell us about the community. Yeah, the cars we drive, even how we decorate our homes. You know, all those things. So the colors in this thing sort of reflect, you know, the, again, the cross sections of who we are in Belmont. The fibers, if you will. Edisol uh, was my partner in crime, if you will, uh, on this mural and um, couldn't have made it without her. I mean, she's just great. She really is, you know. Edith Hall is this outstanding, wonderful painter who has worked with me as a studio assistant for a few years. And then I, I had the fortune, you know, uh, the wonderful uh, fortune of watching her grow into this amazing artist. I mean, she is just so good at what she does. She really is. How you know when you're successful? I said, when I can really, really create good art consistently. It's not about selling something. You know, there's more about your commitment to the field and what you're doing in it, right? And your commitment to making good art. Early on in my career, I was by, I would have to say that my paintings were some, some, somewhat didactic. I really wanted you to get what I was talking about. And then as time evolved, of course, and I evolved, it was more about simply creating a, a good painting. I think that I cared about what I was doing. But beyond that, well beyond that, in terms of what I would like to be remembered by, as simply being a good human being. That'll be the best thing. 